iOS 3 raw TV. You guys want it fucking raw, and you're going to get it raw. I know some of you are not going to like what I have to say right now, and I really don't give a fuck because it's how I feel, it's the truth, and I'm fucking speaking my mind, which a lot of people nowadays, they don't fucking speak their mind. They'll speak their mind behind a fucking keyboard where you don't know who the fuck they are, but you can see my fucking face right here and know it's me saying what the fuck I'm saying. So, my opinion on Devin Physique. Now... I got this question, what I think about him, after he came out with the Bradley Martin video he made. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to start right at the beginning, okay? Um, I met Devin last year at the Arnold. He was actually in D.C. For some reason, his flight wound up in D.C. And him, Brandon, his mom, and there was another girl at the airport. Another guy, too. I think it was like his camera guy. was with them at the airport. And um, Brandon watched the channel, and he came over and introduced himself. We talked for a little bit. And then when I got to um, <clears throat> uh, the Arnold... We're all waiting for our baggage. And I was talking to them for a little bit. Super nice people. You know, all, I mean, just super nice people. Get to the Arnold and I'm walking by and I see Devin's mom. And Devin's mom is waving me down. She's like, hey, you're the guy from the airport, right? And I was like, she goes, Brandon was looking for you earlier. He wanted to know if you were filming and stuff. So I went up talking to his mom about the dogs and stuff and my dog. And then Devin came over. We were hanging out for a little bit. And at this point, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to talk about it because unless Devin wants to talk about it, which he doesn't. And there's a reason why he doesn't. It's not to hide something. We'll get into that later. I saw someone doing some shit to him, trying to fuck with him. And I saw it with my own two eyes. And it was a classless fucking act. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? This person kind of was pushing his buttons in front of everybody, knowing that he had a line full of people and couldn't fucking do anything about it. And his mom was upset about it. He was upset about it. And I'm like, fuck it. What is this douchebag? I was like, what a fucking cunt. Whoever the fuck this guy is. I knew who he was, but anyways. That was my first kind of impressions of Devin. He was a nice dude. His mom was Liz. Liz was super nice. Brandon was cool. I mean, everybody was really fucking cool. Now, the whole thing goes down with him with the photoshopping thing. Now, <clears throat> every single one of your fucking heroes, including Bradley Martin, touches up and photoshops their fucking pictures. Anybody that has ever seen Bradley in person knows he doesn't look like he does in those fucking pictures at all. Okay, that, that's besides the point. But... Devin was adding muscle to his frame rather than just cut, putting some cuts and shit in there and, you know, touching him up, which, you know, it didn't really affect. I didn't look at it and say, wow, fuck it. I, I'm going to shoot myself because this guy looks so good. I'm like, oh, fucking dude looks good. Right. Kind of left it at that. Gets caught with it and comes right out. Never denies it once. Comes right out and says, yeah, of course I do. Everybody does. And the way he came out with it, people were like, what the fuck? You admit it? Like, holy shit. He admitted it. I'm like, well, because he wasn't trying to hide it. He just thought everybody fucking knew about it. And right away, I was like, well, fuck, if that's not what you're supposed to do, which, by the way, Victoria's Secret, every other fucking industry, they Photoshop the fuck out of everything and nobody gives a fuck. So applying practices from another industry to the fitness industry, people freak the fuck out in this industry. They don't give a shit about anywhere else. So I'm not sure why people give a fuck so much, because like, if you're looking at someone else as fucking your idol and if you, they fucking, you know, if you can't look like them, you're going to fucking shoot yourself. I, it just, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyways, the guy never denied it. He owned up to it, took responsibility for it, and fucking said, look, I'm sorry, and I won't do it again. And he didn't. He wasn't touching up photos. He was doing videos himself. He looked, obviously, a lot smaller without the touch-ups and stuff, and he wasn't doing it. So I kind of stepped back, and I was like, huh. He took a lot of heat for that. He never tried to weasel his way out of it. He never denied it. He owned up to it. To me, that's respectful. You know, he made a mistake. Whether he knew he was doing it or not, it was a mistake. And he owned up to it. Fair enough. Who the fuck am I to judge? A former fucking heroin addict, right? Like, I've never made mistakes, but take personal responsibility, own up to it. Next thing was the training, the online training. And people were saying, it wasn't him. I know one of his clients. He goes to my gym, and I know it was one of his clients. He was wearing a dedicated shirt, and I said, hey, that's fucking one of Devin's shirts. Now, this guy could not lose weight with any other fucking trainer. I saw him for years. In-person trainers, they, he wasn't doing well. All of a sudden, he dropped like 60 pounds. A fucking dude doing great. He's fucking motivated. He's wearing the dedicated shirts. I'm like good for you. And then he was talking to Devin on the fucking phone. So I know he was talking to Devin. I mean, he's seen Devin on fucking camera. So he knows what the fuck his voice is like, right? And this girl comes out. Now, this really struck me as fucking weird, okay? And again, I'll, you know, we'll explain why. Her, his best friend, she claims to be Devin's best friend and she moved across the country to be near him and Devin doesn't do any of his own fucking things and he doesn't use the fucking, it's someone else on the phone, blah, 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 all this bullshit. And here's the funny part. People believed her. How about this? I looked up to see who this girl was. I was like, who the fuck is this girl? So I went right to her Instagram and looked it up. Devin's best friend, out of all the pictures on her Instagram, she was in two fucking pictures. Two with Devin. And it was at a fucking expo when she wasn't even standing there, Devin. Like it was just a bunch of random people that worked the booth standing there. His assistant, random people that worked there, standing there. But it's his best friend. 
Don't you think your best friend that you moved across the country for, you probably have other pictures on your Instagram rather than just a random picture? It didn't fucking add up. Devin actually said, I'm going to come out with some stuff and explain this, and he didn't. He held back. He took the fucking heat for it. I kind of stepped back, and I'm like, okay, something more is going on here than what people are thinking. And people, let's face facts. They're sheep. You can easily be led. This girl fucking went out there, said one thing, and some shit didn't add up, and nobody fucking looked at it. Not half the fucking people I've ever talked to thought about to look at this girl's Instagram to see if she really was good friends with him. She wasn't. Anyways, now we lead to the... Devin Physique Bradley Martin video. He makes Bradley the Mar Bradley Martin video. Now, I know that he's got stuff on Bradley. I know for a fact. I know that while Bradley was down, he could have fucking fired back and attacked the shit out of him. And even though people didn't like Devin before, people were pissed at Bradley Martin because he was a fucking snake. So he could have actually got some of his reputation back by fucking attacking him, and he didn't. He showed restraint, and he showed class by saying, look... We squashed the whole fucking situation. I wouldn't fucking wish this on any of my fucking worst enemies. And I hope, you know, we're not friends, but I wish him well and hope that he fucking recovers from this. That's what he said. And I kind of stepped back and I was like, you know what? The kid endured a lot. You know, let's face facts. Devin endured a lot in the last year going through the shit he did. And he kept pressing on constantly being positive, doing his fucking training, keeping himself in fucking shit. I mean, a lot of people would have crumbled under that and just gone away completely, just gave up. He didn't. So you got a guy who's persistent, right? A guy that who could fucking tear someone up while they're down, who that guy fucked with him in the beginning and was responsible for fucking taking him down to begin with, and he didn't. And he owned up to his fucking mistakes. He owned up to it. He never fucking once denied it or lied about it. He said, yes, I did, and I'm sorry, and he hasn't done it since. So you have someone that basically, I feel like, made a mistake and is not a fucking snake like the other guy. And, you know, people just kind of make up their own shit. I've seen it time and time again. I've watched videos of stuff people say and all of a sudden people comment in the section below and they're, they're hearing and seeing things that are not even in the video. Like they're making up a reality in their head and I think that's really what happened with the Devin thing. People made up a reality that he is like the fucking devil and I'm like, he made a mistake. Like none of you have fucking made a mistake ever. Like what would you do in his position? Would you fucking lie your way out of it or try to lie your way out of it? I bet you a lot of you would try to fucking lie your way out of it and make a fuck ton worse. This kid fucking just walked away from fucking, well, he got, you know, he had gotten fired from shreds, they said, but walked away from all that shit, continued to do his thing, continued to grow his fucking brand, and honestly, I don't think he lost any fans. You know, I do not think he lost any fans whatsoever. I think he gained some haters. I think that's what happened. So I think his true fans really know what the fuck is up, and they still follow him, just like Bradley Martin. All of his fucking fans are still there, but he gained some fucking haters. You know, people didn't turn on Bradley Martin. The people that like to hate and fucking abuse people in that pack mentality that just attack people, just find someone else to fucking attack and go after it. It could be Bradley Mark, it could be fucking Devin Fizzy, it could be me, it could be Rich Piano, it don't fucking matter. You know, it's not reality. You know, it's a perceived reality that fucking people make up. And I'm like, you know, when you guys really stop and think about it, look at all the fucking traits that this kid has had over the last eight months, and he's still doing his thing and not photoshopping the things. And he did apologize for it. And I think it was sincere. I really do feel it was sincere. And I've seen his fucking clients get results. And they're talking to him on the phone. Like, everything just kind of, I think, got a whirlwind of shit all at once. And he got a bad rap. He made a fucking mistake. And it's been a year. And I think that, you know, some people still make fun of him. But I don't think people really hold that shit against him anymore. And I think that people should take a step back. And your fucking heroes that you're watching, a lot of you fucking people that were tearing up Devin, this motherfucker... You guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. Does the same fucking shit. He's been busted for it. And if you fucking still follow him and fucking damn Devin, you guys are the ones that fucked up, not him. Bowstring at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.bowstring.com is a blog. Don't fucking judge anybody, bicep, and we're out.